All right, we are back. Another franchise. So, we do have our... Well, time returning. John Kaminsky. Kaminsky. And we got our first mock draft. So we're going to look at the mock draft. See what they got. So currently, this is, you know, how the mock draft looks with the new Batman update. We got all these wonderful additions. Wonder where we are at, though. We're at 24. We're projected to take wide receiver Hugh McLean, who is 5'9", 190, out of Ohio State. So that's, you know, our first mock draft. And we also have some players who we might want to negotiate a contract with. In my personal opinion, I would love to bring back Young Waiku. And he would love to come back. And these are our current free agents. Some, you know, huge, some not so huge. We got a pretty decent amount of free agents. Now, we will do our weekly strategy. And we're going against Daniel Jones and the New York Giants. And with the Giants, they're probably going to try and establish a run. And for us, we're probably going to want to throw it short, I reckon, is what we try and go. And we'll start training. Now we got a big game up, you know, against the Lions. We did drop to Tampa Bay in the last episode. We don't have any injuries. On the defensive side and special teams. But offensively, how are we looking? Did we go scotch-free today? We go scotch-free. No one gets injured. That seems to be a kind of rare thing. As we now also have some players to upgrade. These are all the guys we are, you know, missing. You can tell 41, 39, 37, 38. We're going to be missing a lot of guys for a long time. As we now need to see the Giants. Here's everyone they are missing. Nick Gates should be tough for them. Blake Martinez. Shane Lemix. Lemix. As we go, to look at the Giants roster. With Saquon Barkley and James Bradbury and Kenny Galladay. Right there, that's a three players you'd love to have on your team. Logan Ryan. He might be up there in age, but he's still got that. Graham Gano, one of the best, better kickers in the league. Hunter Williams. Derwin Shepard. Evan Ingram. Kyle Rudolph. They have a great one-two tight end core. So do we. 
Jabril Peppers, Adore Jackson, Dexter Lawrence, Blake Martinez, but he is injured. Darius Slayton, Danny Schellen, Jordan Hicks, Xavier McKinney, Julian Love, Arne Holmes, and players like that. As we get ready to play this matchup, trying to move to two and one and stay close with the Buccaneers and the Saints and the Panthers all in this division race. And we are not going to return it. We have to start out good. Matt Ryan looking to get a win again. Get back on track. He are, he's already going deep. And he's first play interception. Intercepted. Intended for Russell Gage. That is not how you want to start. That is he, Daniel Jones. Currently not doing very high. The touchdown interception ratio is one to one. He's only thrown one touchdown for two games. It's kind of weird. But he dumps it down. Finding his man. Evan Ingram, only getting four though. It doesn't really matter how many yards they get. They got the ball in great field position with Matt Ryan already trying to establish a passing game. That's Saquon Barkley gets the reception. Getting the first down and more. Getting eight when they only needed six. Now at the 25, Jones looking to throw again. Jones throws hard. Injured. Braden Copeland. Down on the field. As Sterling Shepard gets 11 in the first. AJ Terrell on the tackle. Now inside the red zone. Inside the 15. At the 14. Got a wonder. Are they going to run it? And they will. And she doesn't go anywhere. He might have lost half a yard on the play. Boy, you say to Lukun on the tackle. As Jones. Hands it off again. Barkley. Once again, not going anywhere. That's two rushes for zero yards. Deion Jones, the second tackle. This is third and ten. They don't need a touchdown. They could still get the first. And he throws. He's throwing towards the end zone. And it's caught. But this he get the feet in bounds? Sterling Shepard. And they're going to review this. Can't really tell, but it looks like he wasn't in bounds. That's you can't really see, but from what it looks like, it doesn't look like he got in. But it doesn't matter how it looks, it matters if the officials call it, and they're gonna say incomplete as they line up for the field goal. The kick is up and it is Good, giving the Giants a 3 0 lead, capitalizing off of that costly turnover on the first play of the game by Matt Ryan. As they kick it off, once again, will not be returned. Let's go, folks! The Falcons already down 3 0. You gotta wonder, is that your second gonna mess Matt Ryan up? Who knows? The handoff to Mike Davis, he doesn't get any play. Giants already have two out of their three momentum. With one being the home field. As they hand it off again. Mike Davis goes for negative three. Now already early in the game, they're facing a third and 13. And Matt Ryan thrown once in the second. Matt and Mike Davis has ran twice. And that pass is incomplete. And the Giants 
have full momentum at this point. You gotta wonder, is this gonna already mess the Falcons up? And I see Fair catches it at the 43 yard line. We get first and 10 from their own 43. They're seven yards away from midfield. Once again, great field position, great job by their defense and by their offense. Ducking off to Saquon Barkley, who loses the four on the play. And called out a rush. Atlanta with negative three total yards. As he looks, he fires. He finds his man, Evan Ingram. That's a, his second reception for 12 yards. Daniel Jones, third and six, step back. Looking, scrambling, and he's gonna get sacked by Grady Jarrett. Grady Jarrett causing the sack. As the Giants are going to punt. And it is up. A great kick for Daryl Patterson, taking it to the 18. Turn of probably five, four. First and ten from their own 18, the Falcons. They do not want a third bad drive. They need this to end in at least momentum. You need to get something inside it. As he finds Hayden Hurst for the first down already. Matt Ryan's first completion for 10 yards. Hayden Hurst's first catch for 10 yards. As they're going to give it to Cordero Patterson. Patterson, stiff arms are out. Taking it to the 35, getting seven on the play, making it second and three from their own 35. He passes, he finds, but can't hold on to it. Third and three, Ryan looking, he's going deep. Who is he throwing to? He throws another interception, and turn it to Colin Liddy. Interception on the play by Logan Ryan, I believe. First and 10 from their own nine now. They're gonna hand it off to Jacob Barkley. Losing two on the play. This is not much of a run game. Dante Tower Jr. with the tackle. And Jones barely gets it away. Avoiding one the sack and two the safety. Making it third and twelve. Gotta wonder, did I even try? He's looking. He's got time. He's gonna throw. He gets hit as he throws. But it doesn't matter. Cause down the field is Evan Ingram. For a first down. Getting 32 on the play. What are the Falcons doing? And they hand it off to Saquon. Saquon making a few people miss, getting five on the play. <laughs> 48 for 300. He's doing pretty well. That's some pretty good stats. Daniel Jones, looking, firing. He finds his man. That's Satan. For the first round. And that will take us to the end of the quarter. Now. Eight minutes to go before half. Barkley, he has a huge hole. Getting seven on the play. Tackled by Dion Jones. Second and three from the opposite 41. They give it to Barkley again. Who gets to the 40, gaining one on the play. Making it third and two from the for opposite 40. Gotta wonder, they don't get this. Do they punch, go for it, or kick the field goal? And he loses a yard. Dante Fowler. And they are in pump formation. It appears the Falcons are playing for a fake though. It is not a fake. That kick is up. And it is down at the one. Good work, boys. Let's go. And Let's go. Steven Means, I believe that is. Stephen Mees who had I believe three sacks in the last game as they give it off. Mike Davis maybe gets a yard. 
He does. This is not a great game for the Falcons. Falcons hopefully turn down. Yes, they hand it off again. There it goes, Davis. Taking it to six. He's now finally reached positive yards. He's not averaging a yard a carry, though. Averaging pretty bad. Matt Ryan, looking. He's just going to throw. Nearly caught or nearly intercepted. But what is the penalty? Personal foul. Roughing the passer. On Dexter Lawrence. What are you doing? That takes away one. You know, the non first down. And two, it gives them, you know, a huge advantage now. As he finds Hayden Hurst for six on the play. We have not seen much of Kyle Pitts lately. As Ryan looking. Just standing. Rose. It's Hayden Hurst again. Gotta wonder, are the Falcons considering re-signing Hayden Hurst even though he is the backup tight end technically? Ryan looking. Throwing. He's throwing deep. He's got a man. And it is caught. Kyle Pitts. That's where Kyle Pitts has been. Huge play. That could turn it around a bit. Let's watch him. That is 56 on the play. Taking him. Jordan Hicks on the tackle. First and goal. No, 10 from their 11. They give it to Davis. Davis digging into the 7. Making it 2nd and 6. But you can still get a first down. It is going to be quite challenging considering it is only one yard away from the end zone. Ryan, throws incomplete. As we look at third and six, no one in the backfield. Ryan steps back, scrambling. He's going to get sacked. That's the end. That time he isn't rushing the pass through. As that takes us under three minutes to go in the first half. And the kick is up. And it is good. Making the score. What happened? Sorry about that. Making the score 3-3. Free, free. As kick is underway. It happens first time kicking. And they will get no return. They staying in the end zone. There is Tony. Giants, even with that huge play and all that, they still have two bars of momentum. And Saquon getting a yard on the play. Is that going to take us to the two minute warning? They do not have to run another play. You got the wonder, will they? They will. And they're going to pass. Jones firing. Way to tap defeat is Tony Galladay. That takes us to the two minute warning. First and ten from their own 44. Giants probably hoping to put some points on the board. Daniel Jones, scrambling. He's going to get sacked. John Kaminsky. On his game back. As Daniel Jones looking. He avoids the sack. He's going to take off. The Falcons are not taking their time out. Maybe they don't feel confident that they'll score or stop him here. Jones. Off the back foot. Incomplete. Now do the Falcons try and go down the field and score a touchdown? They're just going to take this to the half. At their own 19, they're going to have to go 81 yards for a touchdown. Matt Ryan, that's right. He's heaving it down the field. He's got him in. He's got Calvin Ridley. Ridley. Touchdown. First play. And that now gives 
the Falcons the momentum. And the kick is up. And it's good. Making the score 10 to 3. One play, 81 yards, 9 seconds. If you're the Giants there, the only thing you're trying to do is defend deep. But they are going to return it. And he gets blown up. Gets to the 17. Alright, now do the Giants try and do what the Falcons did? They are. They're going to throw. They have a guy. But there is a penalty. Who will this go against though? Oh, it goes against the Giants. And they're going to accept that. Moving them up a yard, but they remain at the 17, so. And they are now just going to hand it off to Saquon. And that should take us into the half. Barn the Giants run another play. And they won't. Alright. There's the halftime stats. As we head around the league to see how they are doing. We head over to New Orleans at New England. 17 to 3. Saints. Destroying the Patriots currently. Next, we had the Washington at Buffalo. Washington is winning this game currently. Then Carolina at Houston. Carolina barely wins this game, keeping them still in the competition for that NFC South. With two of those teams in the NFC South making the postseason last season, one of which winning the Super Bowl, and those teams both currently undefeated still, you do not want to fall behind. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! With the Saints and Panthers both having new quarterbacks starting, Jameis Simpson was on the Saints last year, but he did not start. Has that even ruled out a fumble? And it is recovered by the Giants, thankfully, but that is a loss of 14. And now the Falcons have momentum going their way. Jones, looking, firing. He finds Saquon, getting them near the first, getting 20 on the play. Still is a bit early to decide who's going to win. But, hey, Jones throws out of bounds, no one there. As fourth and four, they send out the punting unit, the kick is up. They're going to return it. He breaks attack, we're taking it to the 35. Falcons once again regain that momentum. Front line steps back. He's scrambling. He's gonna get sacked. That is Aziz Ozawari. Aziz Ozawari. Sorry about that. He looks second and 21. Fakes his handoff. Ryan Logan scrambling again. And that's gonna be Leonard Williams. Third and 29. And Ryan already thrown two interceptions, and they're gonna try and convert it. Going deep. Ridley, Ridley once again with the catch. Ridley is destroying this giant secondary. As we walk, he just gets behind. 
Ryan, he, he took advantage of that almost instantly. 69 yards. Ryan, looking. Rose, incomplete. Second and ten. Ryan, looking, firing, end zone. It is caught, but out of bounds. Third down. Ryan. That's that. Fires. And that is his third interception of the game. In the end zone. You gotta wonder. Are the Falcons considering moving off on Matt Ryan? Jones. Firing. He finds his man. He's gonna keep running. Sterling Shepard on the play. Giants fans gotta love the back-to-back -back plays that their team just got. And Jones, stepping back. Feels the pressure. He's gonna throw on the run. And he gets intercepted. Ron Harden on the interception. Falcons get the ball basically right back. Ryan, looking. He's just going to throw it away. No one open. Not wanting to get sacked. He's 6 for 16 with an interception. And the yardage doesn't really mean much because he's thrown to Ridley for probably 130. Make that another freaking 20, 30. Ridley. Having himself a game. That's he's free for 170. Ryan steps back. There is a penalty, but it is caught. But who is the penalty on? It is holding on the offense. Jake Matthews takes away the huge play. As Matt Ryan is going to take it himself. He doesn't slide. He's getting 12 on the play. Interesting play call we have. You wouldn't really consider Matt Ryan one of the mobile QBs. But hey, he's trying to make a name for himself as a mobile QB. As he throws, he finds Hayden Hurst. Making it third and fourth. Third and four. Matt Ryan steps back. Looking. Throws. And he finds no other than Calvin Middley, who's been having himself a day today. He's only 24 yards away from eclipsing 200. And we're only in the third quarter. And they finally hit it off again. Mike Davis only getting maybe a yard. Second and ten. Ryan steps back. Looking. Firing. He finds, I believe that is Russell Gage. For his first catch of the game. The first pass was intended to him and it got, got intercepted. Ryan, third and four. Finds Davis. Breaking the tackle. Taking it to the 20. Gain a 14 on the play. They're going to save 13. First and ten from twenty yard line now. Matt Ryan is gonna hand it off to Davis. Davis getting two on the play. Second and eight. They do not need another run and play. Run another play. And they won't. That will take us to the fourth quarter.
as they hand it off. Davis makes a tackle. No one in front of him except one. And he still gets in. Touchdown, job, Mike Davis. Good job. As the kick is up. And it is good. Making this 17 to 3, Falcons. Kick is off. And it is going to be returned. He's going to take it. Trying to find somewhere to go. He couldn't. First and 10 now. Giants down 14. They need something to go their way. Jones firing. It's complete. Wait. It is. First and 10 from their own 35. Down 14. Jones firing. Looking. Still looking. Firing. And it is intercepted but out of bounds. As they are not going to challenge it. Jones fires it into the four. Third and ten now. Now uh, the field position has changed apparently. We will not question that. Jones sitting. Still sitting. Still throws. And it is caught. But short of the line to gain. Four from three from their own 42. They need to get to the 45, and they are going to go for it. Jones firing. And it is caught. Darius Slayton moving the chains. Getting to the 46. Jones steps back. Looking. Still looking. Doesn't like it. Now he's going to fire. And you find Saquon Barkley. Let's go, boys. Let's go. First and ten from the opposite 27 now. Just under five and a half to go. Jones instantly fires. Has his man. Has Evan Ingram. Second and two. And Jones. Gets hit as he throws. And you gotta wonder, does Darius Slayton potentially, or Sterling Shepard, catch that if that's a more accurate throw? Third and two. They're gonna give it to Saquon. Saquon, tackled. Short of the line to gain. Losing a yard. Fourth and three. Giants really have no choice but to go for it at this point. He looks. He's firing. And Kenny Galladay with the touchdown. And we look. The extra point. It is up. And it is good. Making the score 17-10. Now with 4-14 left in the game. Figuring it off back to the Falcons. They are going to return this. Up to the 20. 25. And gets to the 27. Let's go, fellas. Now the Falcons, do they try and end this game now or do they just try and milk the clock? Ryan, looking, throwing, has his man. Russell Gage getting six on the play, making it second and five. Second, five. getting five on the play. What? Ryan. Looking. Throwing. Pass intended for Mike Davis, who is wide open. But that has to be good for the Giants, because that stacks the clock. They don't have to start burning their timeouts yet. Ryan, looking. Throws. It's caught. Russell Gage getting the first down. Does get out of bounds, but that does stop the clock. 
as he hands it off. Davis doesn't get any anything. Second and ten. They're gonna give it to Patterson. Patterson taking it to a 41, gaining three on the play. Absolutely nowhere. As third and eight. They're in two call formation. They're doing it down. Ryan steps back. Looks. Throws. Has his man. He's going to keep running. Kyle Pitts. Make sure to stay in bounds as well. But that does not matter. With an Atlanta Falcons player down on the ground. Injured. Stopping the clock at 211. After officer 32 now. Falcons. Gonna set that bro. He's gonna take the sack. And that's good for the, the Giants because that is a loss of 10. And that also knocks him probably out of field goal range. Second and 20 now. From the opposite 42. They're gonna hand it off. Mike Davis. Taking him down to the 34. Giants use a timeout. Defense. Defense. Oh. Third and 12. If the Falcons get this, this will more than likely be over. They're going to hand it off again. He's getting a yard. Takes it to 33. As we look at 4th and 11. Does one way to have it in him to make this kick? The kick is up. It is... Good! They gave him that a contract extension for a reason. As they start to kick off with a minute 48 left, they are up by 10. The Giants need a comeback. They are not going to return the Giants. They Come really on, can't. Let's go. Let's go. You know, they have to score. Well, if it's a touchdown or field goal, and rely on an onside kick. They're going to hand it off to Saquon. Maybe taking advantage of the fact that they still have that one timeout that they could use for an infield play and stop the clock from chewing. Jones, firing, underneath. Saquon, great. Great play. They're going to keep going, no huddle. Once again, Jones, looking, firing. He finds his hand. Sharon Shepard, and he gets out of bounds. A minute nine left, and they're across midfield. Jones, looking, Irving, still, firing. He has safe one. Now, under a minute left. They are not going to take a timeout and go for that field goal. They are trying to get a touchdown. Jones, looking. Still looking. Fires. He finds Kenny Galladay. They are not going to use their timeout still. What are the Giants doing? He heaves one up for the end zone. Do the Giants take the kick now? They do not. Giants looking. Firing. End zone. And it is in the end zone, but dropped. At this rate, even if they get the onside kick, I don't think they'd have enough time. I think they'd have to throw a Hail Mary. They are going for a touchdown. And that is going to... Nope, he stays up. He throws. And he gets... The touchdown, but with no time on the clock remaining, and we end the game with a 2017 Falcons victory. Matt Ryan, 14 for 25, 315, the touchdown, three interceptions. Daniel Jones, 21 for 31. 301, 
Two touchdowns, one interception. Jones played one great of a game. Matt Ryan had to rely on Calvin Ridley. See, rushing. Fagon, 12 for 15. Mike Davis, 11 for, for 37. And a touchdown. Patterson, 2 for 9. Ryan, 1 for 12. And Jones, 1 for 9. Receiving. Barkey leading the Giants with 5 for 79. Followed by Ingram with 4 for 52. Slayton for 4 for 27. Hayden Hurst, 4 for 26. 4 for 76. Throwing Shepard. Captain Rule with 4 for 176. Blocking. Matt Hennessy allowed three sacks. Ben Bred Bredesen allowed a sack. Jake Matthews allowed a sack. Nate Solder and Andrew Thomas all allowed a sack. Defensively. Deion Jones and Dante Fowler leading in the tackles, followed by Dexter Lawrence, Xavier McKinney, Deron Harmon. Richie Grant, Aziz Ojolari, Ter Therese Hall, Voice A. Ludacoon. Bunner Williams with two sacks, John Kaminsky with one, and Dexter Lawrence with one, Aziz Ojolari, Grady Jarrett, and Dante Fowler. Logan Ryan, Adoree Jackson, Deron Harmon, and Xavier McKinney getting interceptions. Kicking, Young Lake Who was two for two, and Graham Gano was one for one. Punting was Hunter Niswander was 4 for 171. Dustin Colpit was 1 for 34. Kick return 1 for 21 and 2 for 32. Punt return 2 for 9. And that is going to do it for today's episode. Come away with the win. Great job. I hope you guys enjoyed. I did. And I'll see you next time. Where? Quick sneak peek. We will not be watching the Washington football team game. Instead, we will be sitting that game and viewing the stats. And then we will watch the Jets game. Goodbye.